Yesterday, I shared that we are getting a 40% reply rate by sending a video message and a LinkedIn connection request. So today, I figured to make a video to show exactly how we're doing that and also set up a new campaign for myself so we can get more leads. So I'm just going to record the process doing that. Um, that said, 40% is the higher end of what we're seeing. I combed through like more of our campaigns today, and it's really a range of 25 to 40%. So I just want to temper expectations a little <laughs> that like 40% is, is high, but hey, 25% is great. So hopefully you are happy with that. And let me show you what we do. So this starts um, by using a post engage, like a post engagement as a trigger. So basically what we're doing is we're finding a post on LinkedIn that is like somehow relevant to us or what we do. Um, it could be something that I post or the team post, but like typically we'll try to find something else because like we want to, we want to expand to new networks, right? We don't just want to be like targeting the same people, but, um, and you just kind of get more bang for your buck if you're getting a wider reach from a, a post. So I would try to find something like an influencer in your space post, a competitor post, um, a partner or something that's like related to what you sell and people who engage are likely to be interested in what you're selling as well. Um, but ideally it's not you. If there's nothing else, definitely like do a post and then scrape that. But um, I saw this one, this was posted yesterday and even talks about like good ABM and he lists SenseSpark here. He's like, hey, like, the, you know, the future is a bunch of things, but one of those is SenseSpark Video Outreach. Um, and I see our logo here too. So great. And, and this has a lot of people that engage with it. I look for at least a hundred because like, as you scrape it, you're going to lose some contacts. And like, if you start with 60, you might end up at like 20. And at that point you should have just manually messaged people, you know? So, so this is, a, yeah, at least a hundred, I'd say. Um, and you know, more is better, but you can always do more of these. So, um, what we'll do is we'll hold this here for a second. And then I'm actually going to set this up in expandy. We'll set up the automation here. Bef so what you need before getting started, you need your post, you'll set up the automation here in Expandy, and then you also want to have your SendSpark video created. I'll play this full video at the end of this video um, so you can see, but it does take like three minutes, <laughs> so I'll wait. Um, but basically, you want to set this up in SendSpark where you've recorded one video that's like your watermelon video, where you record by saying, hey, watermelon, um, and kind of like share a little bit about your product or how you can help. You can make this dynamic, which will make it look like you're recording over someone's website. And then you can also set up your, um, what's this? Like you set up the landing page. Cause when you send the video, you're sending it as a link and then it'll like pop up and then people can watch on the browser. So you'll set this up. And then um, the contacts we're gonna add automatically through Expandy. So you'll have this ready to go. And it's gonna look something like this. I won't play the whole video now, but I'll, I'll play it after. Hey, Bethany, thanks for taking a look at SendSpark. Here's a quick video to show you some of the superpowers we built for sales outreach and marketing automation. Like many videos. So we have one. Hey, Selena. Thanks for taking a look at. So it's like the same video. It's going to be personalized for different people. It will have their actual website, but these are all sense of our team members for demo purposes. Um, so you basically have like that video. And then I do a little teaser at the end. This is long, um, but for us, like we have a you know, it's very common that people are just going to go self-service and sign up. So I don't always want to like talk to every person I'm reaching out to. It's awesome for them to just like see a demo and get started. Um, you might want to do a shorter video if you're really focused on booking demos. In that case, I'd recommend keeping it less than 30 seconds. But um, whatever you want to do for this campaign, you can get set up. So you'll basically have this campaign ready to go in SenseSpark. Um, you have your post ready. And then what you can do is set up this in Expandy. Um, to basically automatically scrape everyone who has engaged with the post, automatically generate the video and send it out. So uh, I will get started creating a new campaign. For this, I'm going to use, um, I'm not going to use a template, but I am going to do a connector campaign. And this is what I was saying, I was comparing a connector campaign versus a builder where you're doing more. I think if you're advanced, like builders are really cool, but we just get great results from this and it's a lot simpler. So you can um, create blank campaign, and then you can set up the details here. And basically what you'll do in the steps, you'll say, you know, hey, ah, one. hey, first name, like, you know, so, um, what do I wanna say here? Like, sorry, you liked um, Ron's post about, you know, ABM, that referenced uh, SunSpark, 
you know, I, I kind of try to make it more like feel helpful. Like, oh, I just wanted to show you like how it works and how it can help. Um, like, how you can use our AI make personalized videos at scale. So I'll do something like this. And then what you can do since Expandy has a SendFark integration, you have to set this up in your integration setting and then you'll see all of your videos here. And then um, you can just search for the campaign you're using. So in this case, um, then it's like this LinkedIn outreach campaign and you can preview it if you just want to like double check it's the right campaign. And if all looks good, you click the check mark and they'll plop in like a little video snippet. And so what's going to happen when you add contacts into this campaign, it's going to make a, like a push to SendSpark to automatically generate the video for that person in this campaign. And then that like video link placeholder here is going to update with actual video links and people will see it. So you can just set this up, save the message. And then what you want to do is you can set up the settings as well. So just like how many you want to reach out to. Um, and I'll call this like, you know, post engagement even. And I can do this all now. I don't do follow-ups, right? So you can do the connection request a day. You don't want to do a ton. I mean, this is where like LinkedIn <laughs> automation is a little risky. So, you know, you don't, you don't want to overdo it or run too many campaigns at once, but you can set this up here. And then the last step is just to add people. And what you can do is um, you'll do a new search and you want to use the search from that post. So you do post engagement and then um, it asks you to paste the link from the post, which is this one. I'll give it a name, which is Yvonne. And then you want the post ID, which they say you click on the dot, dot, dot. Um, and then, ooh, I don't see it now because I guess this is a repost. Here, let me find it. So what you want is the, the post ID, which you can get here. There we go. Embed this post and then this is funny. LinkedIn made it a little harder because you basically want to grab this like post ID. There we go. But you just want to like find it from the embed code and then um, and then you can add the post ID here. You can auto reload to keep the search up to date. So if more people get added, like, or more people like the post, it'll like reload it. I actually, oh, I'll do this. It, I'll end up turning off the campaigns after like, a, you know, maybe a week or so, because I'll add new like fresher posts. So it probably doesn't matter, but I'll keep it on for now. Um, okay, so one note real quick. So I'm doing this kind of quick for demo purposes and I just added the LinkedIn URL and the post ID. And this is gonna scrape like everyone who's engaged with that post. What I more often do, depending on how much time I have, um, sometimes I just do this because it's faster. But if you want, you can actually like do the search, download the contacts as a CSV, and then kind of scrub and delete things like delete some um, or sing with your CRM and like delete existing contacts or things like that. So sometimes I'll actually do the search separately, download. And then when I add people into the campaign, I'll just upload the CSV. I would highly recommend doing this if you're reaching out to um, people based on competitor posts, because otherwise like half the people like the post are going to work for your competitor and it's just a waste of LinkedIn connection requests. And you also don't want to share your strategies. So um, I'm more like you might want to do either way. But if you just move in fast, you can do this and it's it's a little bit faster. Or like for this one, I actually probably would have done it this way because um, Yvonne's great. It's not like he's a competitor or something. And so may as well reach out to everyone here. So I am going to turn this campaign on live, by the way, doing it live. So this is... Um, the people are adding and it says go to settings so we can just check everything else. So real quick, we'll check the people are uploading, um, the steps, you know, I'm sure this could be better, but it looks good enough. We'll keep it. And then settings. Also make a note that this is an AI video. So when I look at my data later, I can keep track. I can't, I can't type when I'm recording. And then everything else looks good. So we're just going to save this here. There's no stats or anything yet. And then when this looks good, it looks like my people are still importing. But as soon as they've been uploaded, then all, all we'll do is turn this on and um, we'll have a new campaign going. So um, that is it. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions. Oh, I'm going to play the video for you. Okay. So 
it, this is the end, I would just turn it on, but let me play the full video so you can see what it looks like. And I'll just do this one for Ben on a new tab. Hey Ben, thanks for taking a look at SendSpark. Here's a quick video to show you some of the superpowers we built for sales outreach and marketing automation. Like many video platforms, you can record yourself, your screen, or both together like I'm doing now. But the real magic comes from our dynamic video feature, which is where you're able to take one video and personalize it at scale with AI. What you'll do is click create dynamic video, give your campaign a name, and then record the video using the placeholder word watermelon instead of recording with your viewer's actual first name. And we support a few other languages here. So if you don't speak English, just click your language and you'll see the instructions change for you. Um, then you can just record your video or click this option to just get in there without recording. In our dynamic video builder, you'll be able to preview the AI of your voice, make sure we're getting a good voice clone for you. Hi, Bethany. Sounds pretty good. And you can also use a dynamic background feature to make it look like you're recording over any website or LinkedIn profile. If you're doing this, just set a fallback so that if you don't have someone's website or you're missing some data, then they'll still get a great video. You can customize the video landing page. So when you send out your video, you know, you're not just sending out a video, you're sending out a nice customized video page that has some other text around the video. You can use more personal bias variables here. You can add buttons, multiple buttons, and you can embed your calendar so that people can seamlessly book meetings right after watching. And we have a bunch of calendar integrations here. And then in the last step, you'll just add your contacts. So I'll make a quick video for me and Steve. Um, and you can either type in the names like I'm doing now, or you can import a CSV. Or if you are super advanced, you can set up an automation to automatically create videos from Play, HubSpot, Zapier, any automation tool, so that whenever a trigger happens, you can automatically create a video and then automatically send it out, which is really cool. Um, but if you're just making quick videos, you'll hit generate, you'll get a preview of your um, dynamic video credits, and then a preview of how much time's remaining. And then you'll just see the video start to process here. When they're done, you can always send them out one on one if you're going to send it in a quick email or LinkedIn message. But if you want to send them at scale, you'll click share campaign. And here we have a bunch of email um, integrations. So basically what you're doing is you're grabbing that one dynamic video snippet for the platform that you're going to send in. And then the same way you can use first name, company name, other variables and email, you'll have your dynamic video snippet and that's going to change for every person. So for example, if we want to take um, a video and send an outreach, we can just click on outreach here, grab this snippet, go to our outreach sequence, paste in the video snippet, and you'll see on the left, I have my generic video, but on the right, we have that one personalized for Steve. Um, so this is how it works. I'll also play these videos so you can hear the AI. Hi, Steve. I just generated this video using SenseFarts AI. And here's another one. Hi, Bethany. I just generated this video using SenseFarts. So you can see the AI is pretty realistic. Um, you'll also be able to view analytics here. Uh, there's no data for this one yet, but if you check out the sample data, you'll see you'll, you'll be able to see like who's watching your video, what percentage they watched. You can sync all this to your CRM for better tracking, and you really have everything you need here to scale your video outreach. Definitely let us know if you have any questions, if there's anything we can help you with. But otherwise, enjoy and happy recording. Okay, so that's that one. And again, that's a little long. So, and this is because it, it, like I'm not really qualifying the people based on who we want to book meetings with. It's like who is just interested and we just want kind of replies, conversation started, maybe free signups. Um, I will show you one more thing. So when you actually send this on LinkedIn, the way it looks like you're going to send it as a link, like it'll show up as a link. So it's going to look like this where they see the link and then they can see this preview. And then the, Hey Ben, um, you know, is what is, sorry, I'm going to make my face smaller. Well, it's okay. Um, that's like the, the title on the page that my camera's blocking. So this is going to show up there, which is nice. It makes it look extra personalized. So that is like the video stuff. And now that it's been a few minutes, we can go back to expandy and we can see that my search is complete. So we should have the people here. Give it a sec. Nice. We got the people. And so we can go ahead and then you can see there's 72 people, right? So we started, there was over like a hundred plus 60 comments engaged. So you really like lose a lot of people in the, the scraping process, which is why you want to start with a long list, but still 70 is, is great. And it's, took what, like 10 minutes to set this up so we can do more. So we can go ahead and turn this on. Um, and that is all. Let me know if you have any questions or need any help.
Um, and I showed this in Expandy, but you know, you could do something similar in different LinkedIn automation platforms as well, though we do have the really nice integration here. So, all right, happy connecting and thank you.